What up, what up? Um, so Kenny here, and we're back with another video. So today we're gonna do some... Well, we're gonna watch some replays from Ram and Taft. He's around top 30 in the world right now. And yeah. So make sure you guys like this video. Like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on bell, um, your post notifications. Um, and also, don't forget to... um. Follow Ram and Taft on Twitter. Um, help him grow his following. And yeah, he's a really good player. So. Okay, let's start with this replay, the RG. So in this matchup, you really want to play passive because you can't really go in since their cycle so quick. And they easily cycle as quickly as you. So whenever you expo, they have um, RG, so you don't really want to go in. So this is probably going to be like a spell cycle battle. Okay, he starts off with a knight in the back to intercept the fisherman. And then he's kind of cycling his ice wizard to follow up. He's probably going to log that. And I assume the opponent's going to RG. Yeah. Wow, that was a questionable fireball, but but yeah, I th he defended pretty well. So it's always important to get um log chip damage. That's really gonna save you. So again, he's just cycling his Tesla. So pretty good defensive expo. Notice how he chose to use his skeletons right there instead of knight. Because knight's a bigger um, elixir commitment, so... He chose to use the cheapest option, which he thought would really help out the most. So that's really good for him. They're about even in Elixir right now. Just going to be a repeat of the same thing, I assume. And then we're going to probably see some rockets. Okay, interesting. Yeah, he he was kind of in an awkward situation right there. He had more elixir than he could really spend, so he had to cycle another Tesla there. This looks like it's going to be tricky. I assume he's going to use skeletons. Oh, no. Okay, good. Wow. Ooh, this is... Sorry. Yeah, when you're trailing in damage, it's kind of hard to come back with this against this deck, so. He's going to probably Ice Wizard, yeah. So notice how he's spreading his Ice Wizard from his Tesla so his opponent doesn't get maximum value. So he's making sure he gets down his Teslas. And he, he kind of has to rock start rocket cycling here because... He knows he's down in a lot of damage, so he's trying to make that up as quick as possible. Um, He might defensive expo. Yeah, 
just because his fireball is out of cycle. And I want you guys to pay attention to his night placements. Where he can actually get value instead of being like fully pulled by the fisherman. Okay, that night was kind of questionable, but I guess he still did his role. He's probably just trying to cycle right now. Wow, this <laughs> that's a gigantic push by the opponent. Dang, wow. Yeah, I'm going to link um, Ram and Taft's Twitter down below. So make sure you guys support him. Show him some love. Okay, we're up against Balloon Cycle, I think. So it's kind of better to use your knight on the miner instead of Ice Wizard because... It could easily be lava, and you really want to have your ice wizard available. But actually, what I like doing when I have Expo in hand and they miner like that, I like kind of placing my ice wizard where the miner isn't going to hit, allowing it to stall, allowing my ice wizard to stall, and so I can go Expo right away. Wow, that was a great pull by Ram and Taft. So Icebow has a pretty good matchup here, but it's pretty easy to mess up. So as long as you're patient and you're doing everything you need to do, it's not so bad of a matchup it's not bad at all so yeah he's probably gonna go expo since he's have a he has a live um ice wizard He might activate King Tower here. Oh, okay. That's all right, too. So interesting. He switches to the defense. Okay, so now he activates King. <laughs> so notice how he's taking even like the littlest of value for his rockets. Probably going to pull it to the left. 
Oh no. Dang, the opponent seems like he can't really do much. GG Okay, so he cycles skeletons. I see him cycle ice wizard first well second first or second play a lot so We'll see if he does it now. I personally prefer to cycle knight first play, but... Dang, that was a good rocket. He recognized that he was up in the elixir because he had a live Tesla. It's interesting defensive expo. That was an overall good defense, in my opinion. So again, it's always good to lock cycle your opponents. So in this matchup, you kind of want to stray away from cycling your knights because when you use your knight, it's kind of harder to defend Mega Knight. You really want to save your knight for the Mega Knight just because of how hard it is to defend sometimes. That's what I really noticed. Because you'll be forced to use a Tesla if you cycle your knight. And they um, Mega Knight went inside a cycle. You're going to have to use your um, Tesla. In this matchup, the Tesla's your biggest answer to the Ram Rider. So you really don't want to do that. That was a good Ram Rider catch. He's a little low on Elixir right now, though.
Yeah, that was a good idea to go defensive expo. But it's, it looks like it's going to be a tricky defense. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, you see how the importance of having night. Wow. So against Mega Knight Bait, I don't advise um rocketing. I don't advise rocketing Mega Knight and the Infernal Dragon. I personally think it's a bad play. Ever since I stopped doing that, I found out um I've been actually doing overall better in the matchup, so I don't really advise doing that in the matchup against Mega Knight Bait. Oh, this is, oh, yeah. That's actually 5 HP. That was a good match, though. He really showed some important stuff and showed the importance of just, you know, staying patient. So that was a good match to show. Um, Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And let me know if you guys want to see more of Ram and Taft's gameplay. So yeah, don't forget to um follow him on Twitter if you haven't. And yeah. See you guys next time.